value chains is actually the main form of international trade today, that is integrated production networks worldwide. Um, developing countries are part of these value chains, but not as intensive a part as we would like to see so far. But these value chain structures offer enormous opportunities for developing countries to engage more deeply in international trade patterns. has become a very, very globalized place and a very, very competitive place. So firms within any country in the world, whether it be developing or developed, have to innovate and have to change all the time, constantly remaining and retaining their competitive edge. This means that they need to be equipped with the human skills necessary, particularly in the area of the inputs that are going into global value chains, and that requires education, skill training, human capital development on a constant basis, as well as a constant upgrading of digital capacities. It's exactly the uh, subject of our paper that we're putting out on trade policies, GVCs and sustainable development, the new ICTSD publication. There's an impossible short answer to that question. So I'm just going to try to summarize key elements, but, uh, and to say that you need a combination of both appropriate domestic policies, trade policies, and supportive related policies in order to create a proper enabling environment for GVCs to operate. I would say that for the services provisions, these are often provided or actually applied on a multilateral or a most favored nation basis. So there's less discrimination in the services area on the part of RTAs than there is in the goods area. But nonetheless, all of the deep policies that many RTAs now include in the area of behind the border measures, it's hard to I incorporate those in a way that affects non-members equally. So RTAs, by definition, are always going to have a discriminatory impact. My suggestion in this regard would be, to the extent possible, is to either join a deep RTA to stimulate GVC functioning and operation and participation, or to open a larger regional market, such as Africa is trying to do in the Continental Free Trade um, Agreement negotiations, the CFTA. Some people say that GVCs have already reached their peak and they're actually in the process of uh, taking on less importance in the world economy because we have seen a little bit of uh, taking back of the offshoring tendency. We've seen China refocusing on its internal domestic market and we've seen the introduction of a few disruptive technologies such as 3D printing and yesterday we heard about this new Fab Labs in one of the ICDSD sessions and open source technology for making all kinds of things. And so, you know, some people say GVCs have sort of reached their peak and we won't have as much importance in world trade as before. I don't necessarily agree. I also know that other economists feel that some components of trade will always be relevant to GVC operations. But I think, first of all, what we need to focus on is as efficient a participation in international trade as possible. If that efficient participation takes the form of GVC, so much the better. So what developing countries really, really need to do is focus on the efficiency of their domestic economies, their investment policy, to encourage, it will always be important to have investment policies that attract technology. There are no multilateral rules per se that target GVCs. That there are many rules that are included in the multilateral trading system or that could be developed that would support the operation of global value change just as they support the efficient operation of trade flows in general. And those would be lower tariff barriers, reducing non-tariff measures, particularly bringing about more efficient services, less restricted services markets, um, and bringing in complementary measures in the form of 
e-commerce provisions. For example, the WTO could emphasize more work on e-commerce, more work on digital trade. These are really the lifeblood of the trading system at present. Mm -hmm.